Hey there, are you struggling with belly fat that seems to just not go anywhere and you can't figure out what's going on? You're working out, you're eating right, but something just isn't working? Well, it could be that your stress, which increases cortisol, is triggering your body to put the weight in the belly. But the problem is there's possibly a couple things that you might not be paying attention to that could be hijacking your results. Because honestly, it's happened to me. And here are the big things. When you get stressed and you're not taking breaks during the day, you are not giving your body time to chill. The other big thing is, is most of us, when we're stressed, we eat standing next to the kitchen counter. We eat standing in front of the fridge. We just do not even register. Our gut doesn't even register that we ate. So now later on, we're thinking, what should I eat? What should I eat? The brain's going to keep asking for food. And in particular, there's going to be a craving for carbs, AKA sugar, really. And then fat. So I'm going to call myself out here. My biggest problem is that I am addicted to macadamia nuts. It's a real addiction, folks. Not kidding here. <laughs> they are delicious. And I could put down a whole bag of them, which is very nutrient dense in no time. Just ask my husband. He'll tell you all about it. Now, here's the thing. How does this happen, right? Macadamia nuts, considered healthy food, right? And it's not just macadamia nuts. I'll be honest, they're my favorite. If there's pecans, there's almonds, there's pistachios, look out. If there's peanut butter in the house, goner, somehow I will eat it. Now, here's the thing. I'm craving that fat because this is what the body's wanting to help with keeping energy going. It's also that nutrient dense food because it thinks I'm starving because I eat too fast or I'm not sitting down to eat. Now this happens when I get stressed. Is that happening to you? It's a real deal thing. Now I know better. And I will, on a regular basis, sit down and have myself talk through the process of 60 seconds before I eat. But when things start to get a little overwhelming, guess what happens? I go back to autopilot. And autopilot eating will happen too, as will emotional eating. So if you're noticing that you're not taking breaks during the day, you're not taking time for yourself, you're not slowing down with meals, you'll start to have some issues here with these three things. Autopilot eating in particular is one of the most amazing phenomenons in life. You'll have a bag of chips and suddenly they're gone. Where did they go? I personally have said that there's aliens eating, but what it is is your body is just trying to get in food as fast as it possibly can. And yes, this autopilot eating could be connected to emotional eating. And where do we get from that? Well, when you get stressed out, what is your go-to response? Now, you could be eating healthy things, like I said, the nuts. They're healthy, but they're also very nutrient dense. And fat doesn't burn as well in ladies in particular as they get older, especially if your digestive system is not breaking down those fats as well as it could. So this is something to think about. So I really wanted to make this video to give a little sense of why do we end up with belly fat as we get older? It is things that we're just not seeing, our blind spots. So what do you do about it? You wanna slow down. You wanna make sure you're taking breaks during the day. You wanna make sure that you are sitting down to eat. No matter what, no excuses. Because if you don't sit down, your body's not gonna register that you took the time out. And you also wanna work on chewing 20, 25 times per bite. Yes, it takes time. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough time, but belly fat starts to creep up, I think it's time to take the time. The other big thing is sleep. That's a big factor in terms of our body really working on helping with storage. So sleep, also an answer to helping you to get rid of that belly fat. Now, are there herbs? Are there things you can do with your digestion? Absolutely. Belly fat does respond to working on your digestive health because sometimes it's a processing of fat within the body, especially if you're having cravings that cause you to want to eat more fat. So looking at lipase, so that is a digestive enzyme that helps you to break down fat. Now, is it gonna be miraculous and break down your belly? No, it's working on your digestion to help you to prevent for you from storing these sorts of things. Now, what's another factor that can help you working on dialing in your conditioning? Because if you're lifting weights, 
and you're working out, but you're not pushing yourself to the limit properly and recovering properly, you're gonna have some trouble with belly fat as well, especially as you get over 40. So what can you do about that? Take a look at my conditioning videos. I'm gonna give you all the details into what to do there or head over to my Instagram, Dr. Janine Krause, J-A-N-N-I-N-E-K-R-A-U-S-E, and you'll see my videos on what to do and how to train yourself for conditioning so that belly fat does not build up. All right, that's the scoop on belly fat and why it's a problem and what you can do about it. If you like this video, head over to my website, drjkrausnd.com. Check out my podcast on these subjects as well. I'm Dr. Janine Krause. Thanks for watching.